think I'm just going over my grade book just to make sure I don't have any gaps and make sure that everything is turned in, ready to go, everything is graded so that I can submit final grades and then officially start winter break. <laughs> So today's plan is to um, just kind of like be the desire to doom scroll or spend too much screen time. So I'm going to get ready. I usually get ready every day whether I'm going somewhere or not because it just sort of keeps me in some type of routine um, even if I'm not working and it just makes me feel better about myself to, you know, just be dressed and not wear my pajamas all day. I'm just not the type of person that I don't know, enjoys that. And so I'm going to get ready and then we are going to head outside, get some exercise, play with the dog and... Um, just kind of like get our wiggles out. I decided to break out my 365 days of drawing book. I bought this um, in the beginning of the year and I think I'm only on page 36, 37, and the last time I did one of these prompts was at the end of May, so it's been a while. Alright, it is lunchtime and today we are making um, like a meal prep batch of tofu scramble. I have um, three quarters of this block of high protein tofu, I'm going to be putting some potato in it, and then I have this um, smoked apple and sage sausage. If you are wondering why I'm leaning down, there's a cabinet like right here above my head and it's like really hard to navigate the camera around it. And then um, I'm gonna add some kale and green onions to it. And um, I'm going to just like make a big batch of the tofu scramble so that I can have like tofu scramble burritos for a couple of days. Um, so I'm just gonna grate in some vegan cheese and uh, I'm using the Whole Foods 365 brand cheddar. And um, I have not always really liked tofu scramble because when I was first like going vegan and looking for recipes, like other vegans would try to like really sell you on how much this tastes like um, scrambled eggs and it really doesn't. And so I was like a little bit mad about that, but I learned to appreciate it for what it is. You know, it's a good um, like protein meal and if you season it really well, it still tastes really good. It just doesn't taste exactly like um, scrambled eggs. ingredients that are mixed together so we're just gonna have a bean and cheese burrito with some broccoli there you go I just saw this TikTok that not only inspired me but I felt like specifically called out by it um, there was um, someone who was reacting to a video by Kate Steinberg if you don't know who that is she makes like really popular like early 2000s content like wearing Uggs and you know or like working at the mall like Hollister and Abercrombie and stuff like that and cheerleading stuff like that all of those stuff that unpopular, you know, nerdy or, you know, loser kids like me didn't get to do. And so she was just like asking like, where are the losers at? Can somebody else like make content? And I was like, you know what? That was me. Um, like I was obsessed with Napoleon Dynamite. Like I would only speak in lines from Napoleon Dynamite until I transitioned to speaking in only lines from Nacho Libre. Um, I didn't dress cool, but I just like felt oddly and specifically called out by that. <laughs> Right now I've got little tiger and quartz here. Ooh, they're squirmy. But um, let's talk about why I have five guinea pigs. Well, the story is that my son was gifted one guinea pig that we didn't know was pregnant, so that she had four babies. So now we have five, and we also have to keep them in two different living spaces because we had to separate out the boys and girls, so we don't have more guinea pigs. So I've got a lot to take care of right now because I haven't found anyone who wants to take it. <laughs> got quite a lot done today we did a lot of like fun activities went outside came inside did crafts you know had lunch did, we did a lot of things today and so i am actually getting kind of like tired and ready to take a break so i am going to chill out here on the couch for a little bit and watch a couple of videos and then if i'm doing anything later i will pick you back up so i 
um, spent some time, well, I, we ate dinner and then uh, spent some time just, you know, kind of like relaxing, but I am ready to do my upper body workout earlier. Um, when I was playing with my son, it's more like cardio, but I feel like I still want to get an upper body workout in and I'm just going to like change into some sweatpants because even though it's just like an upper body workout, I, I just don't feel right working out in jeans. It's just like, it's just weird and uncomfortable. Also headphones because I'm going to listen to a podcast while I work out too. <laughs> I'm going straight from my workout right to the dishes because I know that if I go sit down and relax right now, I won't want to get back up and do it. So I'm just going to let myself um, move with the momentum, not stop until I'm done with everything or else, I don't know, if I sit down, I probably won't get back to it. I feel like as someone with um, major sens sensory issues, washing the dishes is always like a big event for me, even though I wear gloves and an apron and headphones and everything, it just takes a lot of energy for me to psych myself up to do it and then once I am done I feel like I need a big break after that because I feel like like that was the hardest job I did all day like just washing the dishes and it's not even like I have to do it every day because I use paper plates most of the time and I have help but yeah after washing the dishes I am like not functional anymore I think I have the energy now to get up and go edit this so thank you for watching I feel like I'm happy with the amount of activities that I did today, you know, not just like sitting around on my phone and I just want to continue to be a good example to my son and, you know, show him all the different activities that we can do that are non-screen even though we don't have like strict screen time limits that, you know, we're much happier when we're active and have other things to do and there are some days when we relax more and there are some days when we do more but overall, thank you for watching.